Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to your favorite channel. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for standing by us. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for trusting us to bring you news as it is. We welcome you once again. I'd like to quickly appreciate you guys and encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. All right, straight to the news. We are investing to dismantle Nigeria. IPOP wants presidency. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nambekano, declared yesterday that every cobalt contributed by members of the group worldwide was being invested into dismantling Nigeria and restoring the state of Biafra. Nambekano was responding to an allegation by the presidency on Sunday that the group he leads was using Christianity to ignite war in Nigeria. Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Malam Garba Shehu, had alleged that IPOB was spending huge sums of money on a divisive campaign against Nigeria. Nigerians and the international community are advised to be wary of this divisive campaign, which available evidence shows is being funded with a monthly spending of $85,000 since October 2019. With no records of the source of this laggies, the spokesman said. He added, there is also a UK and European angle of the campaign, which is more opaque than its US sister campaign. Given there is less legal requirements for public filings, but what is known of this at the moment is that their budget is sufficient to hire four PR firms in the UK, Belgium, France, and the United States. International groups and societies are welcome to send representatives to Nigeria and give a lie to the false claims made by these terrorist groups who are dumping, who are duping them of their money and involving them in conducts and activities disguised to destroy the harmonious relationships existing between their home countries and Nigeria. But in a personally signed statement issued through Media and Publicity Secretary, Comrade Ima Powerful, Kanu said, every dime the indomitable IPOP family worldwide contributes towards our liberation goes towards the dismantling of Nigeria and the restoration of Biafra. I mean every dime. Insisting he has no ulterior motive. He noted, I, Mazi Namdekano, have no mission, no mansion. I have no car. I have no hotel. I have no university. I have no government contract. I don't lie. I don't cheat. I don't steal. All I have is the grace of Chuku Okike Abiyama to do his will, which is to restore Biafra in truth and honesty. Once again, the Nigerian government has inadvertently confirmed that we spent big on our diplomatic offensive. We have destroyed Nigeria and by the time we are done with them, the name Nigeria will cease to exist. Kano said the growing campaign for Biafra has become a thorn in the flesh of the President Muhammad Buhari led administration. Hence, the internalization, the international internationalization of the agitation, he said. He alleged that since 2015, thousands of IPOP members have met their death through extrajudicial killings by Nigerian security agencies. According to him, 
Many others have also been arrested and imprisoned without bail or trial by agents or the administration. Members of the group have been reacting to the statement from the presidency, while some described it as a ploy for another manhunt against members, others said it showed the government was already jittery, knowing that the group's course had gained global attention and that help was on the way. One member, Chief Ikechi Agu, alleged there is a ploy to hunt more members of our group into prison. That is why they are raising the issue. We all know that what we have done so far is true diplomacy and not violence. If government is sincere, let it deny that security forces are not killing indigos. Let it deny that we are not marginalized. Let it deny that there is no justice, equity, and fairness in the country, especially since Buhari assumed power. Reacting, the Apex Igbo Sociocultural Organization, Ohaneze Indigo, said Kanu's claims, which is the right to self-determination, is guaranteed in the laws and constitution of the land. Deputy National Publicity Secretary Mazi Chuks Ibebu said, IPOP is not using any violence and we are still in Nigeria and we have to be law-abiding citizens. But be that as it may, the government is advised to ascertain the truism or veracity of their claim so as not to embark on any action that could endanger a particular section of the country. Ohaneze is still committed to the restructuring of Nigeria to give us equal sense of belonging. Kano is talking about self-determination. How he goes about it without insulting anybody is not bad. And since the group he leads is not violent, I don't see anything bad with it. On fears that the presidency's statements might pave the way for an attack on the region and on members of the group, Ibebu said, there is nothing you cannot consider a possibility because of past experiences. But we are warning against any act of terror being unleashed on Igbo land. We will resist it if the federal government has issues with Kano, it should follow due process. Devoid of violence, no killing, no intimidation. But let common sense prevail. We will resist any attempt to cause chaos in Igbo land. Face off between the presidency and IPOP had died down after the government prescribed the group declaring it a terrorist organization and after Kanu had fled the country, alleging a plot against his life. The source of this news is Gaijin newspaper. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and what is ongoing at the moment? Well, it is what it is, guys. A lot of issues uh, beginning to come up based on uh, the press statements that Garba Shehu has released. Well, be that as it is, guys, let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying. Nigeria is already on its knees, a drowning country. Nothing can save it. Zoo is down. They are crying in vain. It's too late for any amendment. Power drunkenness and arrogance. No respect for rule of law. Aguoche says, Kano is doing a great job and let their idiot animal prejudice jeopardizing perpetrators, saboteur, sluggish people be there serving their Fulani masters. Another person says, stop the fooling. You cannot dismantle Nigeria. Your propaganda is getting out of hand. You're only deceiving those that you can. 
All right, guys, be that as it were. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.